Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we are going to be taking a look at something called the Bernoulli Principle. It's something that helps airplane flies. It deals a lot with air pressure. So let's take a look. So today we are going to be using a hair dryer to create an airstream and a ping pong ball, which gives us a nice spherical edge for the air to flow around. Uh, sometimes you know with science, it doesn't work out the first time. So when we first started with this, we realized there was not strong enough airflow to push up that ping pong ball. So we did a little cleaning and then came back to try again. And what we noticed was we did get a little bit of an airstream, but it was a little bit too wide. So we had to get creative with an attachment and some tape to try and see if we could get a more direct airstream so we could demonstrate the Bernoulli principle. I mean, that still looks kind of cool, but <laughs> it wasn't showing exactly what we wanted to show you guys. So we came back with some tape and an attachment. And then It looks like that ball is floating in midair, even when we tilt it off to the side. And the reason is the air flowing up hits the bottom of the ball and slows down, which creates a change in the air pressure. That pressure holds the ball up against the pull of gravity. The air rushes around the curve of the ball, which makes an inward force on the ball that sort of locks it into the airstream. This is the Bernoulli principle, which basically says where air speeds up, pressure drops and the difference in that air pressure between the still air and the moving air pushes on the ball and keeps it in the center of that airstream. So I drew a line on the middle of the ball so you guys could see kind of how it's moving around even though we're tilting it and keeping it upright. Which is pretty cool looking. Almost kind of like magic. And you can see that the air pressure as it moves across the surface will sort of rotate that ball as well. Thank you for following along. I hope you found that entertaining, maybe even something you want to try out at home. We are going to have one more science short this month and then in August we're going to be taking a little break. And the reason we're taking a break is because Fingers crossed, we really hope we're gonna be able to go back to Curiosity Club starting in September. And Curiosity Club is something that meets every single week and talks about a lot of the same things that we talk about in Science Shorts. So every Tuesday afternoon, we meet and you guys get to do some of these experiments and create some really cool STEAM things. So keep checking our website and uh, I will keep you posted on next week's Science Short as well. Thanks guys, have a good week.